So it's Sunday the 21st of February and it is a wonderful 15, 16, 15 degrees. So it's very warm and my nice new phone camera is out of focus. So welcome to the video. Um, I'm just getting used to using uh, an old um, uh, phone uh, attachment for, the, for my van as a gimbal. So um, excuse any sort of strange things happening with the way I use the camera because I'm still not used to it. So we're going to come down these stairs without breaking my, my neck. Um, so as you've seen in the intro of the video, there's a sort of chafing noise coming from the van. It's very strange because uh, we were driving uh, around a few weeks ago and uh, every time I turned right, uh, there was like a strange noise, which I've tried to recreate since um, taking the, the intro shots and I've not been able to, but I think the problem is still there. Um, at first I thought it was the um, brakes, because if you remember, uh, we took the, the front wheels off to fit the protection bar in, a, in, a, in another video, in an earlier video from last year and um, the plates were quite rusty but it turns out it wasn't that so i'm going to show you what it was so if i uh, just stick the key in the ignition and try to film at the same time uh, so i'm going to turn the ignition on but i uh, just want to turn it so i can get the steering lock all the way around it's very much a keep fit steering wheel this is so if i to take it to its limit and try to hold it with both hands while holding the camera up and then lock there we go locked it in position there and it should be on its limit so if we look down here if you can see the front panel is actually talking, touching the front wheel well, i don't quite understand why in fact, there's a little bit of a gap there, which is probably why I've not been hearing the, the chafing noise, but uh, it was definitely uh, causing a problem a few weeks ago. So basically, we tried to come up with a few, a few ideas of, of how to remedy the problem, because um, as you can see, uh, it's not ideal. So um, I look on online, end up looking on our favourite um, online store, uh, which I won't mention because I think you know which one I'm talking about. And I was looking at brackets and various bits and pieces, and I came up with these. Um, let's see if I can open it with one hand. Um, this is a bit fiddly. Might need two hands for this. So I came up with these brackets, uh, nice Allen keys. Um, that's quite generous, the Allen keys, too. So the idea is to fit these, get that one out of the way, fit these brackets. I should have done this on the table rather than on the seat. Particularly the bracket does this with a bolt each side uh, and a bolt, uh, two bolts, I think. There's just two bolts. Yeah, two small bolts holding this corner piece on. So the idea is to is to try to fit these brackets on the front protection bar. It's not going to be very easy to film, so I'll just try to. But uh, this this bar basically goes. So I think I'll probably end up turning the steering wheel the other way. Right, we'll see if we can do that, and then we'll get a better view. Uh, keys, 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 keys. Right. I need to push the steering one wheel one way and turn, there we go. So I turn it back, turn the wheels back the other way. It's amazing how many things are difficult to do with one hand. The steering, this is definitely no power steering on this, so. There we are. So we've got a bit of a better view. 
Okay, so you can see that the, the protection bar goes below the this front panel, and if you can see just there where my finger is, I'm going to put a bracket here, one either side, on the other bar as well, um, to push this forward slightly. There's not much play, probably more play at the bottom there, but. I think before I do that, I'm going to have to repair the panel to some extent, make it so that it sits okay on the uh, bracket. And in fact, I'm sort of fearing that the, the bracket is going to be a bit too short to fit up behind the panel. Um, so that's something I'm going to have to try out. The other thing was the, uh, I don't know if I've got a, a bolt, there we go. No, yeah, it's the one. So this is a, you've seen this before in another video as well. This is a bolt that goes in here. I'll get it in, there we go. That goes in there like that. And of course now I can't get the damn thing out again. Right, so that's, there's one of those either side that holds the, the side of the panel on. Of course, I've put in some extra bolts here uh, in a previous video. So we've got that, that bolt there, and I bought some replacements for the bolts, or rather the nuts, the other side. Let me just see if I can open that with one hand. So, yeah, I've already got one on, on, the, on another bolt here. So rather than having a bolt, or rather, sorry, a nut, the other side, um, I'm going to have this, this, this uh, sort of, I oh know it's not a wing nut, uh, sort of twisty type thing, um, with some Loctite to keep it, keep it closed, and some rubber washers in between, which I've also bought. So I thought that would be a lot easier, because at the moment, um, We've got the three bolts I fitted before, and behind those you've got uh, some um, sort of bodywork springs, which means I don't need to fit a, a spanner uh, into a, a nut behind the um, behind the, the front panel, so I can just undo it; and it comes undone. Um, and of course, with these. You've got nothing to undo it with on this side, on the bodywork side, but you've got a nice little nut on the other side normally, and it's really fiddly to to take the damn thing off. So I thought I'd use these and uh, make life a lot easier when it comes to taking the front panel off. I need to fix this side, which is all cracked, um, so that I can then fit the, the nice new uh, twiddly screw things onto the bolts at the same time fitting the these brackets onto the front so fun times ahead so thanks for watching and uh, see you in another video take care of yourselves bye mm -hmm.